Hi everyone and welcome back to our Deep Houseboat Life channel. For the past 24 hours, Trey and I have been preparing to go boat camping. So what our plan is, is we're going to leave the dock. Uh, we are going to go around the lake. We're going to go look for a beach that we can pull our boat up to. We'll just run the bow up on the beach a little bit. We're going to tie some of these ropes that we'll show you in a little bit from the back off to some trees there so we don't blow away. And we're going to stay out there for the weekend and get away from the dock and just relax for a little bit. So to prepare ourselves for boat camping, we have reprovisioned our boat with food and bottled water. We have made sure our water tanks on the boat are completely filled. We have laid out all of the ropes that we have and have measured them and made sure that they are long enough to be able to tie up from the back of the boat all the way up to shore onto trees. We've checked the carbon monoxide detectors and we have made sure that anything that can fly away on the top <coughs> is secured and tied down so it will not blow away. Yeah, so we're about to about to pull away from the dock, go look for this beach, and if we don't find one, then at least we'll have a great relaxing day of going for a boat cruise. So come along with us and we'll show you how we do this. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. So for safety, the first thing that I've done is I've gone back to the engine compartment. I've opened it up. I looked to make sure there wasn't anything, any gas vapor smell or anything gasoline or oil looking in the compartment. And then what we always need to make sure that we're doing is that we're running our blower. I've had that running for about 15 minutes so far. Uh, usually they recommend four to five, but we got a little bit behind. So it's still running to keep, keep everyone safe on board once we fire up the engines. Next thing I'm doing here is turning the dock water off. Tighty tighty. And I'm turning the water off here. And disconnecting the filter from the boat. The way I have it hooked up, I'll have to undo the filter from the hose. Uh, Y'all should know how to do that. I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, now that we've disconnected the water from the dock, we'll have to turn on the fresh water here. Start pumping from the tanks cockpit supply and bridge supply that's uh, turning on power to the cockpit supply and the bridge supply which is right above us all right the next part we've been running the blower what we're going to do is we're going to start the generator we're going to hold down the preheat one two three four five six seven eight nine one all right See our generator power light is available. So we have the generator successfully running. What we'll need to do now is turn off our shore power, disconnect, and transfer over to generator power. Now we're out here at the dock box. We're gonna turn the power off. Next, I'm gonna disconnect the power from the boat. Two hand job, so I'm gonna turn the video recording off for a minute. Okay, we've disconnected everything. As you can see, all the power is off on board. Short power off, flip this over. Generator power down, over, generator. Don't need the washer dryer. Another big heavy load. Don't need the range. All right, we got everything on. Looking for any last minute obstructions back here. I'm gonna cast off the lines and we'll be uh, on our way.
Brown's Bridge here. Hardly any wind, which is a great day for houseboating. Fingers crossed it stays this way. And uh, I'll catch up with you soon. so much fun in my life. We used to ask Dory all the time if she wanted to be a boat dog. And now that we have a boat, we like to ask her, Dory, you like being a boat dog? Yeah? You having a great time? Living your best life? Yeah? You get to chase so many squirrels. Oh, oh, oh. And the geese. Yeah, you don't mess with those, though, do you? <gasps> Hi, sweetie. the beach. We're not sure we're gonna come around this corner here. Trey used to camp this way when he was a kid. So we we're kind of just going back and checking all the spots that he used to go to to see if there's beaches right now. Did we find our beach? It's pretty cool. Looks awesome. Dory, what do you think? Dory, this, will this do? Is this, is this gonna work for you? Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, Trey is attaching the ropes here. doing right now is we are attaching the ropes at the back of the boat and just taking them up to the shore to tie to the tree so our boat is secured to the island it doesn't float away we have an anchor but that's not gonna work here
personally super excited about how shallow it is here because then we can put Claire and her float and actually swim around. Where we are at our dock, it's so deep. I don't feel comfortable letting her even in a life jacket get out there because she's so young. So it was probably gonna be a long time before we let her off the back of it. She's got her own little swimming pool. It's really sweet, she loves it. We put that on the top deck and we can swim around, but here it looks shallow enough where we can really wade around. That's gonna be a lot of fun over the next couple of days. Oh yeah, I can definitely see why people like to do boat camping. This is gonna be our view for the next couple days. Really nice. Good morning everyone, it's Saturday here on the lake. If you can't tell from the view behind me, we've left the dock and we're out here at the beach and we've been here since yesterday morning, so just a little over 24 hours now. To me, this is the real meaning behind houseboating, is getting away from the dock, taking your boat with you and getting out to the islands to explore. This is something that I used to do with my family when I was growing up and I'm really excited that we're able to uh, show this to Jesse. 
So it's just us out here this weekend, but when I was growing up, we would have four or five houseboats out here. We'd make a big bonfire. We would play horseshoes and cornhole, and it was a really great time. So I'm really excited that Jesse's been able to experience this with me, and we're already starting to plan a lot more adventures uh, with our friends this upcoming summer. When we're out here on the island, we do not have the utilities that come with the marina. So the three things that help us with this off-grid living, this off-grid adventuring on our houseboat are our generator, the freshwater tanks on board, and a lot of ropes. Our generator is capable of running everything that we have on the boat. And it pulls from the fuel tanks that power the engines. And we can run the generator as much as we need to. We try and cut it off intermittently during the day so that we don't burn as much gas. And when we're not on the boat, maybe we're out on the back paddling around or walking around the beach, there's no need to run the generator for time that we're not on the boat. One thing that we are going to work on is we're going to get our inverter batteries fixed. That was one thing that came back on the marine survey, and that would allow us to run a lot of the kitchen appliances like the microwave and the refrigerator, a few key outlets, the TV upstairs, and some fans for several hours without having to use the generator for power. And that's something that we're gonna fix before we come out next time so that we won't have to run the generator nearly as much. The second thing that helps with the off-grid living and is almost as essential or probably more essential than the electricity is the fresh water that we have on board. We have four 80 gallon water tanks for a total of 320 gallons of fresh water. When we're out here off grid, I like to describe this as taking a boat bath. You quickly turn the water on and get wet, turn it off again, slather up your hair, slather up your body, get nice and clean, get the sunscreen off of you from the day, turn the water back on, rinse off, and that's all you need. And then we also use the water for cooking and for the dishes as well. Finally, just like we have ropes when we're tied up at the dock, we have some incredibly long ropes out here to tie up to some trees. Once our houseboat is beached, we use these ropes to help stay anchored. The wind can come from several different directions. There's oftentimes a lot of boat traffic and we don't want to come unanchored from the beach. These extra ropes help us know that whether it's wind or waves or a combination of the two, we're gonna stay firmly planted here on the beach. These are the three things that we think are essential for off-grid living on our houseboat or off-grid adventuring, however you would like to describe it. If you got value out of this video, check, the, uh, check out that subscribe button and the link button down below. Give those each a tap. It lets us know that you enjoy this content and we keep creating it for you. Might be raining, but it is not gonna ruin my Saturday. Everybody. You can see we're still out boat camping. Trey's actually about to go on to land and untie us from the shore. We're headed back at Sunday morning. We've had a great weekend. I can see exactly why Trey wanted to bring us out here and to experience what boat camping is all about. This is definitely something that we're going to do again. It's so magical. Everything's just been so great. The weather's cooperated. We had the beach to ourselves the whole time. Somehow. Hey, sweet baby girl. Claire's up here. She just ate breakfast. We're getting ready to head back to the dock and we're going to clean up and then head back to Atlanta.